Hi and welcome. This video aims to help you answer question 11 in the 2017 Annual Information Statement. Question 11 asks, who were your charity's main beneficiaries in the 2017 reporting period? This question is on page 2 of the 2017 Annual Information Statement, as you can see on your screen. When the ACNC refers to beneficiaries, we are talking about the people or groups which your charity aims to help by carrying out its main activities. Of course, anyone familiar with their charity's work is likely to have a pretty good idea of who they set out to help. The 2017 Annual Information Statement will ask you to identify your one main group of beneficiaries for the 2017 reporting period. The group of main beneficiaries you nominate will be published as part of your charity's entry on the Charity Register and will be able to be viewed by the public. So, to complete question 11, simply click on the drop-down arrow and an extended list of possible beneficiaries will appear. Scroll up and down the list until you find the best description of your main beneficiary and make the selection. It is important here to note that if your charity has a large range of beneficiaries or is focused on animals or the environment, we recommend you select General Community in Australia, which is the first option in the drop-down menu. If your charity has more than one beneficiary, you can select up to four more from the tick boxes below the main drop-down menu. As you can see, there's a number of different beneficiaries for you to choose from. Again, choose only the beneficiaries which correspond to your charity's main activities. The vast majority of charities will have beneficiaries which fit into one or more of these categories. If, however, a specific group your charity helps is not listed, you can select Other and describe it in the free text box next to it. And as a final point, those charities whose main beneficiaries include people with disabilities will also be asked to answer questions in relation to the National Disability Insurance Scheme, the NDIS. These questions will appear automatically in the form if you are required to answer them. For more on this and other sections of the 2017 Annual Information Statement, refer to the guide and other resources at the Annual Information Statement Hub that can be found at www.acnc.gov.au forward slash 2017 AIS. As always, if you have any questions or need any specific assistance with the Annual Information Statement, you can call us on 13 2262 or email us at advice at acnc.gov.au. I hope this has been useful and thanks for watching.